Hello and welcome to the March 2013 edition of Buncombe Weekly, a show right here on BCTV to let you know all about upcoming county-sponsored events. Now just to let you know, all the information I'm going to give you in today's episode can be found online at our website at buncombecounty.org. While you're there, if you want to catch this program or all of BCTV's original programming, make sure to check out buncombecounty.org slash bctv. And finally, if you subscribe to our online magazine, Buncombe County Easing, you can get all of this great information sent to your email inbox every week. If you're a runner, Buncombe County is a great outlet for your sport. Not only do we have many parks, greenways, and running trails, but we also have a lot of 5Ks and half marathons, it seems, every weekend. Well, Buncombe County Parks, Greenways, and Recreation Department wants to give you another option with their Healthy Parks, Healthy You 5K Run Walk. The race will take place on Saturday, March 9th at 10.30 a.m. at the Buncombe County Sports Park. This event is for adults and children of all ages. Keep in mind, it is a run walk, so don't let the 5K intimidate you. Advance registration is available by mail. The cost is just $12 for adults and $7 for children aged 4 to 15. Walkers are welcome to bring baby joggers to the event, but for the safety of the walkers and runners, no dogs or bikes are permitted on the track during race time. For more information or to get a registration form online, visit buncombecounty.org slash parks. You can also contact Jay Nelson with the Parks, Greenways, and Recreation Office for more information by calling 828-250-4269 or emailing j.nelson at buncombecounty.org. And speaking of the Parks, Greenways, and Recreation Department, we're here at the Zoigner Center to let you know about a great program they have coming up. Every spring, they put on an egg hunt and a swim afterwards for kids, and best of all, it's free. This year, it will take place on Saturday, March 23rd, beginning at 1 p.m. After the egg hunt, all participants are invited to play games, visit with the Easter Bunny, and then swim in the indoor pool. While the egg hunt and activities are free, admission to the pool is $2 and a can for Mana Food Bank. The indoor pool will be open from 2 to 4 p.m. For more information or directions, call the Zoigner Center at 828-684-5072 or visit buncombecounty.org slash parks. The Zoigner Center is located at 50 Springside Drive. Well, if you're planning on doing some major digging on your property, whether you're building a terrace, retaining wall, draining lines, or even planting a large tree, make sure you know where the utility and water lines are. Even a simple shovel can be enough to sever one of these cables. To be on the safe side, make sure to call Public Utilities, who will be happy to come out and mark your property for you. All it takes is one phone call to the North Carolina One Call Center at 811 within North Carolina or by calling 1-800-632-4949 if calling from elsewhere. Before you call, be prepared with the following information. The name of your subdivision, the nearest cross street, if there will be any blasting, if you are within 15 miles of a railroad, when the work will begin, and what kind of work you're planning. Allow 48 hours for the utilities to be marked. Note that only public utilities up to your meters will be marked. They will not locate your private septic lines or the water lines past the meter. You can find more information by visiting nc811.org. Well, it's already March, and April will be here before you know it, so don't wait till the last minute to file your taxes. If you need assistance, the AARP Tax Aid Foundation, in cooperation with the IRS, the NC Department of Revenue, the Council on Aging, and the Buncombe County Public Library System are offering free tax preparation for low and moderate income. Assistance will take place at our four county libraries, Pack Memorial Library on Monday and Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The West Asheville Library on Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Weaverville Library on Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And the Black Mountain Library on Tuesdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. For a list of documentation to bring, directions, and more information, please visit buncombecounty.org library. If you're looking to add a new four-legged member to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs and cats like Sleepy Madison here who are in need of a good home. Now when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all of the pets have been spayed, neutered, and received some basic training.
National Humane Society is dedicated to the compassionate treatment of animals through education, sheltering, and adoption. Come visit the Asheville Humane Society Adoption Center located at 14 Forever Friend Lane, just south of the Farmer's Market, to visit all the wonderful animals available for adoption just like this one. Annabelle is a six-year-old black and white tuxedo cat. She is very loving and looking for a great home. Rosa is a sweet little girl with a loving heart. She is a two-year-old cattle dog blue tick hound mix. Gabbana is a one-year-old, short-haired female cat. She enjoys watching her surroundings and gazing out windows. Amber is a fun-loving, 10-month-old female chocolate lab who would make a great hiking buddy. Mongo is a big, mature boy. He is a snowshoe mix, about three years old, and would love a couch to lounge on. Bogart is a three-and-a-half-year-old male pit bull boxer mix. He's a really good boy. Abraham is a mellow fellow looking for a family to grow old with. He is a calm, affectionate two-year-old male orange tabby. Rocky is a high-energy three-year-old athletic male German Shepherd who is looking for a coach to guide him. Zach is a wonderful, talkative five-month-old orange tabby kitten. He's a real playful boy. Sedona is a fun, loving, happy girl. She's a border collie mix and about one year old. To reach the Asheville Humane Society Adoption Center, call 828-761-2001. Or to view all of our available animals for adoption, go to our website at AshevilleHumane.org. And speaking of pets, Brother Wolf Animal Rescue recently received a grant from PetSmart Charities for 650 free animal sterilizations for any pet living in the 28715 Candler zip code. Residents living in Candler can call 828 575-2411 to obtain one of these free vouchers. You can also pick one up at Brother Wolf Animal Rescue Adoption Center at 31 Glendale Avenue in Asheville any day from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Surgeries will be performed at the Asheville Humane Spay Neuter Clinic at 25 Heritage Drive in Asheville. For more information, visit BWAR.org. Now stay with us because when we come back you'll hear about what you need to know if you want to appeal your property tax value and we'll go over some bicycle safety classes. Did you know that the Buncombe County Public Library System has story times for children of all ages? When children are read stories and interact with the storyteller, they expand their vocabulary and establish a love of reading at a young age. If your child hasn't experienced these interactive story times, now is a great time to start. There are four different story times offered at all county libraries. School age story time is for 6 to 12 year olds. Preschool story time is for three to five year olds. Toddler time is an interactive story time for children aged 18 months to three years old. Finally, Mother Goose time is a lively language enrichment story time for four to 18 month olds. To find out what story times your local library offers and their times, please visit buncombecounty.org library. Now, Buncombe County has many great forms of alternative transportation. We have our art bus system, we have mountain mobility, and today we're joined by Hope Leaker with the Land of Sky Regional Council, who's going to tell us all about the new ride program. Thank you for joining us, Hope. Great to be here, Max. So tell us, what is the ride program? Well, basically, the ride program is a subsidized transportation program. It's a same-day service that's offered to eligible riders of Buncombe County. Unlike existing paratransit programs that require riders to make advanced reservations for their trips, this program provides same-day service. The taxi voucher program is also operated by individual providers in Buncombe County, and it operates on Sunday, unlike other transit services in Buncombe County. So say I'm 65 or older and I want to use this program, what would I have to do? Like, what exactly does it entail? Well, basically, interested citizens should call the Land of Sky Regional Council. Uh, our phone number is 250-6750, extension 5, uh, which is also the Mountain Mobility Office of Administration. It's where we sign clients up for the Mountain Mobility Services. 
Um, RIDE is a program that's offered in tandem with Mountain Mobility. And they should just call our office and we'll see if they qualify. Uh, generally, the guidelines are fairly broad and anyone, after they go through an eligibility process, which only takes a, a few minutes, uh, they can purchase the vouchers through our offices. They're sold, uh, they're $2.50 per voucher, and they're sold in books of four for $10, and also in books of 10 for $25. We work that process through the mail with interested participants, so once they qualify, it takes probably about a week uh, to get the, get the checks and or money order from anyone that wants to purchase a booklet. And then we send them out through the mail, and then they can start using the program. So basically, you just call the number, you get the booklet in the mail about a week later, and then you can start using it. And yeah. unlike the, the art program or the bus program and stuff, that doesn't run on Sundays or that has limited hours. What are the hours of the ride program? Well, the hours are basically when the private providers are working. We have five transportation providers who are signed up for the program. And most of our clients will utilize this program anywhere from 6 in the morning until 11 p.m. at night. Some of the companies operate all night. Uh, if yeah, a lot of taxi cab services do run past midnight. Right, exactly. And so, it, it, to me, it really goes along with what, what Buncombe County was trying to achieve when they, found, when they funded this program and designed it, which is simply an extra measure of freedom for users who may not want to sign up for a ride a day in advance. What the ride program offers is same day service, which is nice. Now there's a little bit of advance notice that'll be required, a couple of hours or so. Uh, but basically it affords uh, additional capacity on mountain mobility service, and it affords the users that extra element of freedom to not only travel on Sunday, like you said, uh, but also to schedule a ride the day that you want the service. They buy these vouchers for $2.50 for a cab ride. Normally a cab ride doesn't cost $2.50. Uh, how is this being subsidized? Like, where's the money coming from for this? Well, basically, uh, it's a user subsidy program. So when participants buy the vouchers for $2.50, uh, Buncombe County pays an additional match of $2.50 for each particular trip that, we, that, is, that actually takes place. And then the county was successful a couple of years ago at receiving some federal grants for the balance of, of the cost of the program. Uh, so basically, those are the funding sources. Okay. So it's starting now. When did this begin? Uh, it went into a test period in April. Uh, we did a soft rollout. We have about 40 clients now who are signed up with the program. Many of them love it and use it regularly. And this uh, quarter, we're doing some additional advertising, and we hope to bring even more clientele to the program. Great. So for only $2.50, you can get basically a cab ride anywhere you need in Buncombe County through, through certain providers. Yes. And I need to qualify that uh, what, what happens is the vouchers are worth a $10 face value. They pay the cost of a one-way ride. So typically a trip to the store and or a trip to the symphony, the movies, wherever you want to go, uh, basically is going to be the cost of a $10 voucher, which that user has already purchased for $2.50. Now users should note that additional trips, because the program applies anywhere in Buncombe County, if you're a resident of Black Mountain, for example, and you want to go to the airport, that particular trip is going to run a little higher than $10, obviously. Uh, and then in that case, the user will pay the balance of that trip cost. Most of the trips that take place in and around Asheville are about the cost of that one voucher. Uh, for short trips, in the event that a participant orders uh, a short trip for one or two miles and the actual trip cost is less than $10, the provider will take that one voucher and no change is offered. Uh, 
The cost of the trips, though, vary by user. We have several transportation providers uh, who are taxis, and they are meters, so they operate just like any taxi. The advantage of that, though, is that um, the mileage and the rate is very predictable. You can talk to the provider in advance to see how much your trip costs, if you know exactly where you're going. And also, because it's a metered taxi, uh, you can bring additional uh, family members or friends along. Uh, so I think that's afforded people a tremendous amount of freedom and it's been a nice element. Great. And uh, is this handicap accessible, obviously, because... There are two providers who are working with us who are, are uh, providing trips through the RIDE program who do have uh, ramps and ability to take wheelchairs and or scooters. Okay. Well, this is a great new program. If you're interested, um, call the number. What's the number one more time? Two five zero six seven five zero and punch ex extension 5 okay. at Land of Sky. And uh, Land of Sky website has information on this for more information? Uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet? But it, we will. Okay, we will. But just call the number if you're interested. And thank you very much for joining us, Hope. Great to be here. If you're a property owner in Buncombe County, then back in January, you received a property tax revaluation notice. Now, if you wish to appeal the value that your property was given, there are many ways to go about it. Firstly, each revaluation comes with an appeal form that you just have to fill out and mail to the tax department. You can call the tax office at 828-250-4940 and schedule an informal interview with an appraiser. However, be aware that their call volume is higher than normal at this time, so they'll get to your appeal as soon as they're able. Finally, you can appeal online, which is a new option for this revaluation. To appeal online, just visit buncombecounty.org appeal. The website will give you a step-by-step -step guide to appeal. And as always, if you have any questions about the tax revaluation or the appeal process, please visit buncombecounty.org tax. If you and your family love biking, or if it's just something you've always wanted to get into, then you should know about some great bicycle safety classes coming up. They're going to take place on the second Saturday of every month from now until June. Course topics include bike selection and equipment, route selection and backup plans, drive your bike, which is vehicular cycling, handling skills and practice drills, safety and emergency maneuvers. They will take place from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the YWCA of Asheville, located at 185 South French Broad Avenue. Classes will alternate between Traffic Skills 101 in March and May and Confident Commuter in April and June. Classroom discussions and group rides will be led by certified instructors with commuting experience from the League of American Bicyclists. These classes are available thanks to the City of Asheville, the French Broad River Metropolitan Planning Organization, Healthy Buncombe, and Bicycle Friendly Community. To receive more information and to sign up for the course, email buncombikeed at gmail.com. The Buncombe County Public Library System now has digital magazines that you can read online or on your favorite portable device. All you need to access this free service is a library card, which is also free. From the library's homepage, use the digital magazine link to create a free account with Zinio. Once you've created your account, you can log in and read magazines online or download digital copies to your computer, tablet, e-reader, or phone using the app on the site. Best part, once you download a magazine to your device, it will never expire. Their catalog of magazines include Consumer Reports, Martha Stewart Living, National Geographic, Newsweek, Rolling Stone, and more than 50 other popular titles. For more information, contact your local library or visit buncombecounty.org library. Pack Memorial Library has a great film and discussion series coming up from the beginning of March to the beginning of April featuring 20th century presidents. Every week they'll show a video and have a discussion about a different president, about the challenges they faced, and more about the time that they lived. All presentations will take place on Tuesday evenings from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the Lord Auditorium on the bottom level of Pack Library. Dr. Sarah Judson, UNC Professor of History, will include introductory remarks and lead the discussion afterwards. On Tuesday, March 5th, the series will focus on Theodore Roosevelt, Tuesday, March 12th, on Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Tuesday, March 19th, on Harry Truman, Tuesday, March 26th, on Lyndon Johnson, 
Tuesday, April 2nd on Richard Nixon, and finally, Tuesday, April 9th, the discussion will be about Ronald Reagan. This Let's Talk About It program is made possible by a grant from the NC Humanities Council, a statewide nonprofit and affiliate of the National Endowment for the Humanities, in partnership with the NC Center for the Book and the Buncombe County Public Library System. Refreshments will be served. For more information, contact Pack Library at 828-250-4700 or email library at buncombecounty.org. And speaking of the public library system, based on the previous story, you know that they're not just a place to quietly sit and check out a book. They sponsor many events throughout the year for every age and interest group. And here are a few coming up. On Thursday, March 7th at 7 p.m., the Fairview Library is having a class on how to attract hummingbirds with local bird expert Simon Thompson. This program is free. On Tuesday, March 12th at 7 p.m., the Lester Library is holding a women's literacy narrative. Erica Abrahams Locklear, assistant professor of literature and language at UNCA, will discuss the history of Appalachian women's studies and read passages from her new book. Please come meet this Buncombe County native and enjoy the program. On Tuesday, March 19th at 2 p.m., the North Asheville Library is holding their popular book club featuring the book Ape House by Sarah Gruen. All interested readers are welcome to attend this and any public library book club. And finally, on Wednesday, March 27th at 2 p.m., you can learn how to be a backyard scientist. The North Carolina Arboretum will bring the tools, animals, and the help you need to practice a science project. You'll also learn more about the citizen science projects that are happening at the Arboretum and how you can celebrate science at the Mountain Science Expo in April. This program will also take place in April at the West Asheville Library and Pack Library. This program is free for all ages. Now those are just a few of the events sponsored by the Buncombe County Public Library System for March. If you'd like to see the full list, make sure to check out buncombecounty.org library. And now it's time to keep an eye out for this week's Mountains Most Wanted. Paul Daniel Childers is wanted for failure to pay child support. Childers is a 41-year-old white male with brown hair and blue eyes. He is six foot tall and weighs 285 pounds. His last known address, 32 Clark's Hollow Drive, Candler, North Carolina. Tommy Tokez Davis is wanted for failure to pay child support. Davis is a 34-year-old black male with black hair and brown eyes. He is 5'9 and weighs 175 pounds. His last known address, 1 Cordova Street, 37F, Asheville, North Carolina. If you happen to know the location of any of the mountains most wanted, you could receive a cash reward. All you have to do is email Crime Stoppers at tips at buncombecounty.org or call 828-255-5050. With your help, we can continue to make Buncombe County a safer place to live, work, and play. Now stay with us because coming up after the break, you'll hear about some great resources to keep you up to date with county-sponsored events. Buncombe County and we know you do too. Would you like to win a shirt like this? Very simple. All you got to do, print out this form or make your own, fill it out, tell us why you love Buncombe County, and then take your picture with it. Send it to us and you could win.
Welcome back. Well, Buncombe County has many great resources to keep you up to date with county sponsored events and promotions, and we've made it easy for you to find them all. Just visit buncombecounty.org and they're right there on our homepage. You can like our Facebook page, join our Twitter feed to receive up to the minute information, register with our Nixle feed to receive emergency notices to your phone, subscribe to our YouTube page to see all of our great original programming, Browse pictures from across the county through our Flickr account. Add our pictures and events to your Pinterest board. See our local weather forecast. Subscribe to our RSS feed. And even stay up to date with the Sheriff's Office comprehensive crime mapping. So when you get the chance, visit BuncombeCounty.org to get easy and quick access to everything Buncombe County. And speaking of BCTV, not only can you catch all of our programs on television, but you can catch them all online. We have recently launched the new BCTV's website, so check it out at buncombecounty.org slash BCTV. You can join Kathy Hughes as she shows you why it's great to live here in Buncombe County for Buncombe Life. You can watch Come Out and Play for a detailed list of all of our county's parks, greenways, and recreation department events. Stay in shape with our healthy life exercise classes. You can also join Margaret in the kitchen for cooking for your health. And of course, you can catch our Board of Commissioner regular meetings. We also have a number of programs from our Cooperative Extension Office, ranging from information on stormwater to even your monthly garden chores. If you'd like a copy of any of our programs, or if you would just like to send us some feedback, email bctv at buncombecounty.org. Thank you for watching and have a great March, Buncombe County.